being at the head of the studio that had a very hard time keeping its head above water. Obviously it was sometimes tough, but more than often it was actually a lot of fun. The dark times obviously were when uh, there was not enough money to pay the team. This was because then I always had to take very big personal risks. And I did it because I believed that what we were working on was going to work eventually. When I started working at Larian, we had weekly contracts because we never knew when our last week would be. We dared reach for the sky. What was our biggest weakness was also our biggest strength. We want to become the best RPG maker that there is. The end goal is to make this very big RPG that will dwarf them all. The early days on Original Sin 1, we were working on a very different game. It was supposed to be a, a small RPG. And the reasoning behind it was, in the past, uh, we were always overly ambitious. We were just going to make a 12-hour, 20-hour game. But yeah, we're incapable of making some, or at least I'm incapable of making something small. We know that if we finish this game properly, it's going to be successful. You could feel that this game was really good, but it needed to be finished. I had no idea about Original Sin being the do-or-die project. The thinking was Original Sin is the last chance. I'd learned over the years that you had to make the game really good if you wanted to have any form of financial success. If we're going to release Original Sin 1, it has to be the best that we can possibly make it. Mm.